This bow's fast. This bow is fast. It's exploding the arrows. Hi guys, my name is Stavros. I'm the author of the Toma 6, book one of the Fateful Force, and I'm also a warbow archer. Today we have a new warbow chrono test, and it's with my new Ottoman warbow from Metbows. Now, in one of my previous videos, I did showcase these Ottoman war arrows, and what I did say about these war, Ottoman war arrows was that, you know, they are quite light and they are not well suited to my other warbows, my English style warbows. I can fire them off my 90 pound English warbow, they are on the light side at between 500 or, and 540 grains, these Warbow uh, Warbo arrows, but it's not something I want to be doing regularly. Uh, you know, English longbows don't typically like uh, arrows that light against their draw weight. So what I wanted to do was get a uh, Ottoman Warbow, something that would do justice to these lighter arrows, as well as some of my lighter uh, English style uh, war arrows. This one is a Will Sherman arrow. Like always, I will be shouting out the grains of the arrows before releasing, and then I'll be quoting from the chronograph the speeds that are registering. Today, again, is a little bit overcast. I've got my Caldwell Ballistics uh, chronograph with me today, not my FX radar, only because I did blow up my FX radar chrono, unfortunately. So hopefully we can get some really nice readings from this bow with the Ottoman arrows, as well as the English arrows, to see how this does perform. So then when we do use this bow in future tests, for our armor test, which is what we do regularly on this channel, we can then attribute that uh, uh, performance of this bow to those tests. This bow, when I ordered it, was 95 pounds at 28 inches. Uh, so what I'll do, like I always do, I will uh, get my uh, weight device, I will measure it on camera, and we'll confirm the weight of this bow. Had it in kilograms, so 41.6 kilograms. Yep, 90.8 pounds. So what we'll say, we'll call this bow a 91 pound bow. I will be doing three finger Mediterranean draw. Um, I know a lot of people are saying, wow, that's gonna give you a lot of arrow pinch. These are quite short bows, that's true. My saving graces are, I'm not a particularly big guy. My fingers are quite slender. And particularly with the Ottoman arrows, uh, they're quite uh, thin arrows compared to, you know, your chunky half inch, uh, um, English war bow arrows. Um, so I don't. I find that the arrow pitch isn't so bad with this bow. Uh, I can slab it draw, uh, which makes it easier uh, because it's two fingers, kind of like that. Uh, but I'm not confident in my release for slab it draw. I'm very inaccurate, um, even at this close range. Okay, so the first arrow is 513 grains, and that arrow exploded. I'm actually going to go to the English arrows now, ones that I have duplicates of because I don't have many of these Ottoman arrows. Um, I got them from Hood Archery Shop in uh, Kostanupoli or Istanbul. They are beautifully crafted arrows, but they do seem to be exploding at this short range. But again, it does happen with my English arrows, with my other bows. And if this bow is that fast, which I doubt it's that fast, but if it is a really fast bow, I can understand why the arrows are exploding. 562 grain, I think this is a Type 8. It's a wrought iron head by Will Sherman. This bow is fast. This bow is fast. It's exploding the arrows. We can see here, four pieces. 580 grain, Will Sherman arrow. These are expensive. What can I do though? It is what it is. Um, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe and consider supporting me. You can see from my videos, I'm constantly destroying arrows as well as you know armor samples. It's not cheap doing what I do do. Uh, of course, I do it for the love of it. I don't need people's support, but if you do, and of course, if you're being entertained and you do like this content, please like, subscribe, and uh, just enjoy what I'm doing. 208 feet per second. So let's keep going. Let's see this arrow, keep putting arrows, uh, keep putting this arrow through the chrono. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Hopefully we get a few consistent results out of it. Okay, so 580 grain English arrow again. Didn't register. So I did a test draw again with the 580 grain off camera and I exploded it. So we're gonna have to try with a different weight arrow again. And like I said, this is unfortunate because this doesn't happen with my uh, English bows. And now we've gone to the Will Sherman arrows and they are exploding. So I have two more 
Will Sherman arrows that are close to the Ottoman arrows in weight. It is what it is. I've got another Type 9, 630. That's a little bit heavy, but at 630 grains. And then I've got a 599 grain Type 8. So let's see how we go. 599 grain uh, Type 8. Broke the arrow. We're not having much luck today. So we're blowing up arrows and not getting readings. I've gone back to my 55 pound bow, which I know is not gonna explode the arrows to do some tests with the chrono. It's giving us readings. And this is like the curse of the 113 pound bow. Whenever I was using a bow that wasn't the 113 pound bow on that day, the chrono wanted to work or give me consistent data. When I use the bow that I'm actually wanting to test, it's not giving me consistent data. Uh, let's continue though. Uh, 630 grain arrow. Uh, type 9 by Will Sherman. 201 feet per second. Didn't explode. Let's do that one again. Hopefully it doesn't explode. 630 grain arrow again. <sighs> 197 feet per second. So it is accurate, but I blew that arrow up. And that's gone as well. I am now going to risk a few heavier arrows. These should slow down, of course, uh, as they get heavier. Another Will Sherman 763 grain arrow. This is on another wrought iron head uh, uh, type, uh, type 7 square section needle. 175 feet per second. So a little bit slower. Uh, let me try that again though. So it's slowing down. I'm not sure if I got that to full draw. I was a bit cautious of how I was aiming it. Um, and obviously, I was actually anticipating it actually exploding, so I wasn't concentrating so much on the draw. So 763 grains. Uh, but you know what? These might be slowing down as they get heavier because of the efficiency. Again, light bow, light limbs, as the arrows get heavier, it may be losing that efficiency. Um, so let's try again with that and then um, go again heavier and see how we go with again heavier. Fast. That was a, a better draw. 191 feet per second. Okay, 763 grain arrow again. Let's get another consistent result on it and we can park it. 177 feet per second. So a little bit slower. We've gotten both 270s. I'm actually going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. 763 grain arrow again. 179 feet per second. So that seems to be about right, 179 feet per second. I actually have a diamond section needle as well that I forgot about, 715 grain. So a little bit lighter actually. I didn't realize I had it, Will Sherman one. So we'll try that one, see if we can get a reading off it. It should be faster. If it's faster, it'll probably be accurate. Uh, Exploded, no, re no reading. Let's try a 905 grain arrow now. I'll only put a couple on with this uh, type of weight. So this is a quiver stock arrow uh, and a Hectocol Cressy. Error and exploded. <laughs> and this is what happens with fast bow chrono tests at this range. Again, safety is important. Um, it's a new bow, uh, just shattering arrows, and it doesn't really matter. Will Sherman arrows, I've never done this before. I mean, I've done so many chrono tests, uh, and I've never seen this many breakages of so many arrows. It's, it is a fast bow. I mean, it's not the fastest bow in the world, but it is a fast bow. Okay, so just what we can see based off the data is, that yeah, it is quite fast, it's faster than the English longbow. In fact, even with lighter GPP arrows, like the seven, uh, like the 630 grain arrows, uh, we're getting you know 200 feet per second. We're producing more energy with lighter GPP arrows than the similar weight English uh, black arrows longbow uh, with you know over 10 GPP arrows. So we're definitely seeing this phenomenal efficiency on the Ottoman bow. Uh, and that's contributing to why 
it's exploding the arrows. Now I have exploded arrows before, obviously with my English bow, uh, my sorry, with my uh, 90 pound English longbow as well as my H1 heavy draw um, at similar range, uh, but nowhere near to this level. But I suppose that kind of does explain it where we have got lighter GPP arrows, which should be less efficient, generally speaking, specifically on English style longbows. Uh, but with this short uh, Ottoman bow, uh, it is producing more energy than my 90 pound bow with over 10 GPP arrows, with arrows as you know, low as between six and seven GPP, with specifically with that 630 grain arrow. So uh, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on the bow. Uh, it is a fantastic bow, it is fast. I just wish I didn't blow up so many arrows with it. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this test. It was fun, even though I've broken a lot of arrows. And I know a lot of people are gonna say I'm too close to the target. You're right, I am too close to the target, but I've done all my corona tests like this before. Um, and you know, I've done armor tests at this range before as well, and simply just don't break that many arrows. Uh, but I hope we got some good data off it anyway. We do know where the Ottoman bow is performing. It is faster for its weight than the English longbow with a you know couple pounds in draw weight in difference. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I did enjoy uh, shooting it for you. And again, please like and subscribe if you like my content and please consider supporting me. So thank you again.